surge of COVID cases combined with an early peak of flu cases and high numbers of RSV cases are creating more headaches as parents are now faced with a shortage of amoxicillin. And the antibiotic is commonly used to treat bacterial infections in kids, but pharmacies across the country are running low. Jenny Alhadari is a pharmacist and the vice president of clinical services at Lori Children's Hospital. There you see her. She's joining us now to tell us a little bit more about this. Hello to you. Hi, good, good evening, everyone. Okay, we've been hearing a little bit about this shortage, but tell me how widespread it is. So we are fortunate at Lurie Children's where we have not yet been impacted by the shortage, but I know that many community pharmacies have been. Um, so our recommendation for uh, parents and families is um, to talk to your physicians about other options that may be available um, and appropriate for that patient to receive as an alternate to amoxicillin. Um, for parents to call um, outpatient pharmacies before going and getting their prescription to make sure that it is available. And for the pediatric population in um, particular, the liquid formulation is the most impacted. So you can always ask your community pharmacy if they are willing to compound a suspension from um, the capsule or tablet. And what is amoxicillin most commonly used to treat? Is it one of these kind of jack-of-all-trade medicines? It really is. It's the first-line drug that is being used to treat any infection or runny noses. Um, so it, it is the go-to for any type of um, ear infection. Um, or a runny nose. Yeah, and parents are familiar with ear infections too, <laughs> so we're familiar with the amoxicillin. Are you noticing shortages with other medications or other drugs similar to amoxicillin? Um, there are, drug shortages are very common in the manufacturing world, and especially now with the increase in RSV um, infections, that there are significant increases in demand for antibiotics. And so um, what we've done at Lurie Children's is really just prepare ourselves to order as much as we can of um, any particular antibiotic and others as backup. Is it just a crush of cases or demand that's leading to the shortages or is this supply chain? What's behind this? It's really all of it. There's been a significant increase in demand for the drug, which um, is now exacerbated by manufacturing delays as well. So three out of the four top manufacturers are having supply issues. Yeah, and if there's a big demand for the drug, it usually means that your emergency rooms are probably full with you know kids uh, with these symptoms of RSV. What are you noticing in the emergency rooms and how are you guys handling that large influx of families that are coming in? It's been tough. Um, I walk by the emergency room every day and the waiting rooms are full. Um, we've had to add additional chairs and waiting spaces for um, our ED patients and families. So it's really been a huge surge to what we've seen in years past. Yeah. So if it's whether it's for an ear infection or some other ailment, uh, if you take your kid to the doctor and the doctor says, oh, we're going to give you amoxicillin, Sounds like your best advice is to say, hey, can you also or perhaps just write me a prescription for an alternative? Yes, yes. Okay, that's the way to do it. Advice from Lori Children's Hospital. We appreciate your time, Jenny Alhadari, for uh, joining us today here on the 4 o'clock news. Thank you. Thanks for being with us.